Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't really think that I have the followers or subscribers that would do something like that. So I don't want to sit here and try to admonish why this is a bad idea and all those things. Because, I mean, some people, they just stupid. And sometimes stupid should be painful. In this case, it's going to be really painful. Um, I don't know if you guys heard or not, but last week or over, I guess, the weekend, the holiday weekend, um, there were people that were on TikTok that were advising other people to uh, run a chase. Um, effectively, what they were saying was, hey, if you go to the bank, like if you write a check and you go to the bank and the ATM and you deposit it into the ATM, you can make an immediate withdrawal. That is true because that's how checks work. Whenever you are transferring funds, like you know how like on your cash app and stuff like that, it'll say, or even on PayPal, it'll say, um, do you want to wait one to three days or for a small fee, do you want to make the funds available immediately? That's the same thing. Checks have to clear and it could take a couple of days for that to happen. But to be fair, the policy makes it so that you don't have to wait a few days to get your money, especially if it's something that you need to get access to right away. They make some of the money or maybe even, well, no, not even all of it. Some of the money available to you right away and then the remainder be available to you the following day. I know this because I do mobile banking. So I've had physical work checks that have been issued to me. Like, you know how like when you start a job, your direct deposit don't start yet. And so I would take a picture of it put the number in, doo -doo 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 -doo, and it would say, okay, you have $400 available today, and then the rest will be available tomorrow, whatever it is. Well, people, somebody, a person, I don't even know how one person could start something like this, but someone somewhere um, felt like they was Christopher Columbus, and they discovered something that was already widely known, or should have been widely known, and they told other people that they should be doing it. And that this was a glitch that Chase had. And they encouraged other people to write themselves checks, deposit the checks into the ATM, and withdraw some of the funds immediately. Well, whenever you write bad checks, um, that's against the law. Um, particularly when it's money that you know that you don't have. Now, everybody probably doesn't bounce a check, you know, once or twice in their lifetime. But there is a threshold that has to be met before it goes from being uh, oops to a misdemeanor to a felony. People were writing checks for not $300 or $500 to go get some groceries. They were writing checks for tens of thousands of dollars and trying to withdraw the money immediately. And they got on the internet and they was like, oh, look at me, look at my money. Y'all need to get, get your money up too. They got free money. From TikToks that I saw, and if you're not on TikTok, go on over, go to the little search bar, and type in Chase Bank Glitch, grab you some popcorn, get you some wine, kick your feet up and relax, because this is like a comedy show you ain't never seen before. People are now going online after saying, I want to run a chase, I want to run a chase. They are now coming online, and they are sharing their stories that they have these negative account balances. Now, I'm sure that some of them are satire where people are just trying to get their views up, and I get it. But there really are people that are, share, share, <clears throat> that are sharing their story, and they're saying, oh, shit, they, like, took all the money out of my account. Let me call the bank and see what's going on. And when they're calling, first of all, when you go to an ATM, there's a camera. I Google Chase Bank's value. J.P. Morgan Chase is the largest bank in the United States, and it is $3.5 trillion. Y'all think that they got ATMs out here that got cameras that's not working? And then you use your own personal information. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Like, how how you think you're supposed to ride off into the sunset after something like that? A glitch? Like, how does that even make sense? And so now on TikTok, some of the people are coming and they're like, well, um, I'm get a lawyer. The audacity of you to take the very money that you stole 
to get an attorney to defend you for stealing the money that they getting paid with. I know you lying. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it is levels to stupid. And I'm just so grateful that I'm not there. I think sometimes that people get so desperate that they are really looking for a ray of hope, an opportunity that they can take advantage of, but not this. Now, like I said, I could totally get behind you if you was like, I had to get some groceries or whatever to think. I don't know. But y'all out here getting Mercedes Benz money. What was you going to do with it? What were you going to quit your job? Don't worry about it. You ain't got to quit your job. They're going to fire your ass because you're going to be in the penitentiary in in a very short amount of time. Because Chase came out and they made it very clear. They said that thousands of people are involved. And they have made it very clear by saying fraud is fraud. What these people did was fraud. And depending on what level they did, like I said, it might, it was, I don't know if it was a oops, I don't know if it was a misdemeanor, I don't know if it was a felony. But imagine having a $30,000 judgment against you. Because this ain't going away. They want their money, and they want their money back. Okay? So, I just... I'm wondering if this is beginning of something that we're going to see in the near future as people start to get laid off from work because interest rates are starting to go down, but they're going down as a result of the jobs report that's coming out that's saying that people are starting to be laid off. And it always gets worse before it gets better. Even though the Fed is like, oh, we having a soft landing, people are hurting financially. People are in massive amounts of debt tens of thousands of dollars in credit card debt installment debts for personal loans they got forty five thousand dollars on cars like honda accords at 20 percent interest like this is a big deal and i honestly as much as i want to you know say oh you know they they're stupid people do things out of desperation people believe things out of desperation and I'm willing to believe that not all but I'm willing to believe that some of those people were in a financial situation where they really were like oh my god this is the Lord blessing me no that was not the Lord blessing you baby that was Satan testing you and he he gonna he gonna see you when you are um on on D block um, this is not okay. There are no shortcuts, y'all. I know things can get tough. I know things can get um, uncomfortable. And I know it can possibly put you in a situation where you're presented with things and you're like, oh, all I got to do is this could be the answer. It's not the answer. It's not the answer. It's never the answer. The The long way is always the short way. Okay? It's never going to be a situation where, you know, the clouds open and this ray of light just beams right on you. And it just, it don't, it doesn't work. You're not special. No one is special. Only the people that work hard or are born into wealthy families are going to reap those type of benefits. So um, if, if if that's one of those, if, if you happen to be watching this and you out there, I'm sorry for you. I feel bad. But the bigger thing is, I think, guys, we need to start watching out for one another and paying attention to our family and friends when we know that they may be in financial binds and situations because we might be entering into a phase of the economy um, the part of the cycle where, like I said, people are going to start to get more and more desperate. They already can't buy houses. They can barely afford rent. People are upset. They're pissed off. They feel disenfranchised. Like I said, I would not be surprised if this is the first of many different types of scams that we see in the future. However, be that as it may. Them people going to jail.
Now, if for some reason you happen to know somebody that was involved in this situation, because like I said, I'm pretty sure that the people that was involved, y'all ain't following me or whatever. I want to point out like two really critical and important things. Um, like I said, number one, we know you're going to jail, okay? Jail. Yeah. I'm a mortgage loan officer. I have to take continuing education courses every single year where we talk about fraud and, and red flags and all of those things. There's protocols that's in place for this. Now, if you know somebody that may not have been directly involved, because on the TikTok, the people are saying that people were basically depositing an account, depositing the check into an account of someone else and then telling that someone else to withdraw the money and then they could keep some of the money and then they get the money to the original um, fraudster. Um, that, unfortunately, you 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 go into jail too. Um, why would you let a person that you may or may not know deposit money into your account and then they just like, oh, well, you know, when you take it out, you could keep some. What do you mean I can keep some? <laughs> You, that, that person is a part of the situation as well. And so, damn, it's a two-for-one special that they got going on. So, that's, that's something that I, I want to make sure that I, I mention. So, it, it, it didn't have to just be a one-to-one -one transaction. Some people, they recruited help um, to help get this thing on. Um, the second thing is um, when, <laughs> when y'all... Uh, or when, not y'all, because like I said, I know the people that follow me, the subscribers that I have, they don't do stuff like this. But when these people um, get out of jail, um, the penitentiary, when they get out of club fed, um, they're going to have felonies. And the felonies, you can't get a job. Where you going to work? And how are you supposed to get a bank account? How, how does this work? Like... This is going to be so challenging. Like, I could, compl like, I almost, I don't know if I could buy some stock in the check cashing business or not, but I mean, I might need to look into that because that's where a lot of the people are going to have to go because these banks, they talk to each other, y'all. That's why we're saying about like mortgage fraud and stuff like that. Like, there's literally lists of people that's like, oh no, you can't. You can't come over here. You can't sit with us. So that's just, I don't know. I just thought I would bring that up because people don't understand like how deep this goes. You know, this these are reverberating consequences. So, you know, you 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 got what five thousand dollars for a day and a half for two days, and now you owe the money, you gotta pay the money back. You go into jail, you might have a felony, you go, you do your time, and then you get out, and then you you still can't live a, a productive life because now you're a, a convicted felon, and your convicted felony don't work like Donald Trump's convicted felony. You you just going to be SOL. You're going to be out of luck. Um, not you, because again, I know the people that follow me, that subscribe, they not you know, but those people. So if you know people, you might need to let them know what's around the river bend because it's bad. It's real bad. They going to jail and they want to pay their money back. They want to get their money back. They gonna do some time. It's it's not gonna be fun. It's not gonna be a good situation. And um, ten out of ten, don't recommend y'all find something else to do figure out a different way because writing yourself a check depositing it knowing that the check is not going to clear and then trying to beat the clock by pulling the money out 10 out of 10 don't recommend y'all have a great day